Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to modify an object nested within an object. Now let's take a look at a slightly more complex object. Object properties can be nested to an arbitrary depth and their values can be any type of data supported by JavaScript, including arrays and even other objects. Consider the following. Here we have a nested object with one, two, three data values in it. And then the third one has even more nested ones. And then on the third one of the third one, we have even online status and um, gets deeper and deeper and deeper. Nested objects have three unique keys, ID, whose value is a number, date, whose value is a string, and data, ID, date, data, whose value is an object which has yet another object nested within it. While structures can quickly become complex, we can still use the same notation to access the information we need. Here we've defined an object, a user activity, which includes another object nested within it. So user activity is an object, and inside of this we have the data. You can modify properties on this nested object in the same way you modified properties in the last challenge. Set the value of online key to 45. So right now it's 42, and we want to make it 45. If we console log user activity, well, here we can use dot notation or bracket notation. I'll start with dot notation. So we could go user activity.data. This is going to produce this guy, and so dot data, and then what we want is to set the online. So if we go dot online, we get 42. But we want to set this to 45. So we can actually use this to alter the code, right? We can set that equal to 45. And now you can see that the data and online is set to 45. Uh, user should have an ID date and data property. User activity should have a data key set to an object with the keys total users and online. Oh, this is all this, the same stuff. It should be set to 45. Online property should be set using draw, dot or bracket notation. Okay, cool. So that's one way to solve this problem. How would you do it using um, bracket notation? User activity, um, data, online. Um, and then we can comment this out. So this is how we would do it using bracket notation. As you can see with the bracket notation, you put the, um, the keys in parentheses. Um, so there's, you're passing them in as strings. And uh, yeah, this would also pass the test. So those are two ways to do it. You can do them either way. Um, and yeah, this is some really, really useful stuff. So you really want to uh, learn this well because um, all, all sorts of API integrations and things like that um, utilize um, this sort of um, object notation. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.